Hello and welcome into the Michigan Football Report Rapid News and Rumors Edition. We got some great rumors to talk about that are swirling around Ann Arbor right now. First one we have, are there some Michigan men secretly slamming Jim Harbaugh? Well, we're giving this one three Harbaugh heads and here's why. This is a rumor that's been swirling around for a few weeks that following the loss in the Outback Bowl and an underwhelming season from our Wolverines, former Michigan players are coming out of the woodworks to express their displeasure with Jim Harbaugh's coaching performance performance. Sources close to the program are telling us that these players, excuse me, these are the players leading the charge to make things difficult for Jim Harbaugh in Ann Arbor as Michigan's head coach. Braylon Edwards has been a vocal leader on Twitter this whole season and has continued the negativity in Detroit, talking to high school players and former Michigan players about his displeasure in Harbaugh's performance. Mike Hart, currently the running backs coach at Indiana, who declined to interview with Harbaugh this season, and Scott Leffler, former Michigan quarterback and quarterbacks coach and current offensive coordinator at Boston College, have been said to slay, be slamming Harbaugh at coaching conferences taking place across the nation. Hmm, not very Michigan men of them. Next rumor, Chris Partridge promoted to coordinator with a big raise. That's right, we're giving this one four Harbaugh heads, you guys, F-A-C-K back because a big raise was given out to Partridge to stay with the team in the special teams coordinator position. Michigan released officially yesterday that the raise is reported to be in the $150,000 range, moving him from a base salary of 350 k to 500 k we talked about how valuable Partridge is in the coaching and recruiting trail. So Jim Harbaugh gets an A plus for keeping him on the staff. It was reported that Alabama was interested in Partridge as well as Arizona being rumored to be interested in him as a defensive coordinator. Also worthy of noting, Partridge shifted from linebacker to safeties coach with ex-safeties coach Brian Smith taking the defensive coordinator job at Rice. All right, rumor number three. Shea Patterson's lawyer is building a case that he was knowingly misled by Ole Miss coach Hugh Freeze. All right, giving this one three hardball heads, and let's give you the update. So Patterson plus a half dozen Ole Miss players that transferred this offseason will only get one chance to appeal for their eligibility. They need to build the best case they possibly can that they were misled by Hugh Freeze. And it is reported that Patterson's lawyer is collecting letters, DMs, and texts between him and Ole Miss coaches that were from his recruiting process. Like we said, they only get one shot, so that is why there's a long wait in this process. They need to nail it in order for Shea to don that maze in blue next season. All right, so you might be wondering, what are all these Harbaugh heads? Well, let me tell you. So zero Harbaugh heads means totally false, ready for it, fake news, all right? One Harbaugh head means mm, small shred of truth, okay? Two Harbaugh heads, people are talking. Three Harbaugh heads, it's pretty likely. And four Harbaugh heads, an F-A-C-K fact. That is how Jim Harbaugh spells it, and that is how we spell it here at Chat Sports. Hey, guys, I'm Lena Bond, host of the Michigan Football Report with the Michigan Football Insider, James Yoder. I'll be doing your rapid rumor and news roundups on Wednesday. So follow me on Twitter, at Lena Bond Sports, for all things Michigan football. Let's continue on with these rumors and notes. We got a commitment alert for you guys, okay? So we have a three uh, star quarterback slash athlete, Michael Barrett from Georgia, committing to Michigan, all right? And so you might be kind of taking a look like, hmm, three star, like, I don't know about that. Well, he did um, attend a June 2017 satellite camp at a university in Georgia. Harbaugh was there, so he must have liked what he saw. It is also worthy of noting that while he was playing quarterback at high school, it is thought that he will make the transition to defense in college. All right, next rumor and news we have for you. So four-star offensive lineman Patterson down to Michigan and Notre Dame. Well, this is three Harbaugh heads and here's why. Possibly the biggest name left on Michigan's target list for the 2018 recruiting class, Jarrett Patterson, was a previous Arizona State commit, ended up decommitting after the Sun Devils head coach was fired. Now that he has opened his recruiting back up, our source is close to the program tells us that he is 50-50 between Michigan and Notre Dame at this point. He has also stated that UCLA is in the mix and Patterson is set to make his commitment next week. Getting a big, beefy offensive lineman like Patterson would be huge for the Wolverines given our particularly weak performance at offensive line this season. All right, next rumor. Michigan offers Ohio's two best juniors. It is a F-A-C-K fact, ladies and gentlemen. So new Michigan defensive assistant Al Washington has been very active in recruiting in Ohio this week, making scholarship offers to the state's best two juniors, Zach Harrison 
and Cade Stover. Now, Zach Harrison is a defensive end, number four player in the country in the class of 2019, five-star recruit. Linebacker Cade Stover, he is the 105th best player overall and is a four-star recruit. Both were considered to be huge leans to land at Ohio State. However, Al Washington has a great reputation inside Ohio with the top players. And these were players that in no way were going to get in to consider Cincinnati, but he still has their respect. So now that Washington shows up in high schools with Michigan across his chest, he has the best chance to land these prospects from Ohio. Once again, guys, I'm Lena Bond. Follow me on Twitter at Lena Bond Sports for all things Michigan football. We're going to keep on rolling here through our Michigan rumor roundup. Rumor number seven, did we offer a 2019 quarterback? Well, we're giving this one four Harbaugh heads. It is a F-A-C-K fact. Ty Evans, who committed to the Colorado Buffaloes just 10 days ago, has been offered by Michigan. Why, you might ask? Well, he had been committed to Arkansas since January, then decommitted when the Arkansas coaching staff was let go in November. The guy who led the commitment at Arkansas? Dan Enos, Michigan wide receivers coach. And when Enos moved to Michigan, he made getting a commitment from Evans one of his top priorities. Evans is the fifth junior quarterback that Michigan has made an offer to and the third pro style quarterback to receive an offer in the class of 2019. All right, next rumor for you guys. Can one of our quarterback commits see into the future? Well, we're giving this one two Harbaugh heads because as you can see in the tweet, he called that Philadelphia Eagles would beat the Minnesota Vikings by 30 in the NFC Championship. The Eagles went on to win the game 38 to seven. Hmm, hopefully Kevin Doyle can see some national championships in Michigan's future. Go ahead and follow the sports psychic himself on Twitter. And as we reported a few weeks ago on the Michigan Report, Doyle will most likely be asked to go to prep school or sit out a year due to Michigan's scholarship crunch. All right, next rumor we have for you guys. Is Drevno taking recruit golfing? Well, we're giving this one four Harbaugh heads. Michigan assistant Tim Drevno will be back to Texas tonight for an in-home visit with Rice graduate transfer offensive lineman target Calvin Anderson. Anderson tells 24-7 Sports that Top Golf is in the plans for the duo. Hopefully Drevno can work the charm, being the offensive line, as we mentioned before, is an area of instant need for Michigan to win at the highest level next year. And as a grad transfer, he would be eligible to play in 2018. All right, guys, speaking of Tim Drevno, do you think Michigan can win the Big Ten with Drevno, our offensive coordinator? Give me some love if you think we can, and give me a thumbs up if you're not so sure. All right, let's keep on moving in our rapid rumors roundup. Rumor number 10, are more players set to leave? Well, maybe. Based on the numbers, it's pretty likely that this one's going to be a fat or a Pretty likely it's going to be a fact. So we're going to get three Harbaugh heads with a recent addition of Utah quarterback Casey Hughes and last night's commitment from Michael Barrett. Michigan sits at 90 scholarships committed in the 2018 season, with the limit being 85. This includes Otis Reese, who is committed but not yet signed. And every player that Michigan goes over, they would have to see a player leave or transfer from the program. As it stands right now, that means five players would have to do so before next season. All right, rumor number 11, Harbaugh hosting football tryouts for any student to join the team. Well, you better believe it. We're giving it four Harbaugh heads. Are you a Michigan student watching? And do you want to wear that blue and maize? Look no further. Open registration for Michigan football tryouts is tomorrow, January 25th from 4 to 6 p.m. in Ann Arbor. The University of Michigan football team will hold open registration for interested and eligible students who wish to be considered for a spot on the 2018 team. Please note, don't show up in your cleats. No physical activity will take place at the time of registration. And interested participants must be active undergraduate or graduate students currently enrolled at the university. All right, last rumor we have for you guys is Michigan State under investigation by the NCAA. Well, it's a F-A-C-K fact, folks. A huge storyline in sports over the last few weeks. USA Gymnastics team's doctor, Larry Nassar, has been facing allegations from 200 plus former athletes for sexual misconduct and assault. He was a longtime doctor at Michigan State Athletic Program, and the NCAA is now raising a few eyebrows about his time at Michigan State. It's Penn State all over again, alleges Brian McKean, a Detroit attorney representing one of the women. You have the same kind of institutional failures involving multiple victims violated by a trusted staffer. 
According to a report, MSU allowed Nasser to see patients for 16 months while he was under criminal investigation by his own police department after a 2014 allegation of sexual assault by a female patient. At least a dozen women and girls have reported to police that he sexually assaulted them after MSU allowed the former doctor to return to work after a three-month Title IX investigation record show. Lassar was just sentenced to 175 years in prison this morning. All right, guys, that's all the time I have for you guys today. Please be sure to follow me on Twitter at Lena Bond Sports, and I'll see you on Friday.